You just can't have an edgy character without a proper traumatic backstory. I mean, look at me! <laughs> So Rail received the character cinematic, which on one end is very cool, but the other end is kind of unfair. Like, where's set cinematic? Homeboy is an Oxian and an Ionian. Imagine the cool fight scenes we could have had with him. I know Rail would approve. More like the boss of having his shirt off. God, that's so weird. Yeah, I get it, we were all very hormonal monsters at that age, but was this really necessary? Whatever, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> So before we jump into the cinematic, there are some things you need to know about Rel. Rel is the daughter of a Noxian soldier and the heir of a fallen noble Noxian house. When Rel was still a baby, the parents noticed her unique and powerful gift of controlling metal. And like any normal parents, mold her into someone who could chatter through the Noxian political landscape. To make her into the ultimate weapon, they did the only thing good parents can do, send her to a creepy-ass boarding school owned by none other than the Black Rose themselves. Knowing Rel's unique powers might be the solution to LeBlanc's little iron revenant problems, the Black Rose Academy did everything they could to make Rel into the perfect weapon. And by everything, I mean forcing an 8-year-old to battle her classmates and be physically tortured by her mentors to enhance her powers. The classmates she battled? Yeah. They were never seen again. On her 16th birthday, Rel said enough is enough, and after a particular gruesome duel, she yeeted her instructors and ripped open the door to a forbidden wing in the academy, where she found all of her defeated classmates nullified, which means their magic was forcibly extracted from them and placed into Rel's body, leaving them as nothing but emotionless puppets devoid of memories. The headmistress who oversaw the procedure herself was Rel's own mother. Yikes. Rill managed to escape and embark on a journey to try and find any surviving gnomes, defending the meek while delivering merciless death to her former instructors. And go! Okay, we have Noxian soldiers sprawled all over. That's what they taught me. What they forced down my throat. What else did I tell you? How to build an eyeliner girl? Ain't nobody got time for that! Cold as iron! Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Fuck! <laughs> Wait! What? Why did he miss? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, How did he miss? Headbangers! Yeah! Oh, that's clunky. Oh, oh, that's hella clunky. Oh. Okay, we'll just keep headbanging and then completely ignore that. Yay! Okay, I'm sorry. What the hell was that? Like, what happened there? What happened there? What happened there? What was that? Like, he... But then... Huh? Did she Magneto the axe away from her? Is that what... Is that what's going on? Because that's pretty sick. In her latest story, written by her maker and my boy Jared, Rill tries to find a null survivor while shit-talking Noxus and all of its filthy boomers. She then gets attacked by one of her old mentors, only to end up beaten by the little protégé. Before he dies, though, he lets her know that her best friend Gabe, a boy from the academy who was literally her one and only friend, is at a nearby camp. What dear old mentor didn't tell her, though, was that little Noel Gabe, who ended up as an empty drooling mess, died of malnutrition because none of the Black Rose cared about their baby vegetables, leaving Rel devastated but also very, very mad. Now look, as much as I love the story, I gotta admit that as a fellow Noxian, I'm not happy about the fact that everything changed to fit a 16-year-old's narrative. Basically, my boy was thrown under the bus just to make this twerp sound like some teenage mutant edgelord John Dark. What happened to legalized gay marriage? Taxing the rich? Destroying corruption? Ending slavery? Our main issue was LeBlanc trying to start World War III and Mordekaiser forging a highway to hell, but now it's all about how terrible Nox is this for allowing the creation of teenage Magneto and her baby carrot friends? Like, it's not LeBlanc's first rodeo. Child soldiers was her thing in the first Ionian invasion, but knowing that Swain knew about this and didn't do anything is kind of fucked up. 
Jared said that Suen was an evil calculated mastermind all along, but was written in a way where it was really hard to write him with flaws. Which I responded with this, and challenged him to fight me. Now about her design, my god, the amount of heat I received for speaking my mind on that one. Like her overall design is so freaking original and cool. She's angsty, she's edgy, she's a metalhead, she's a Noxian, she's got a pony, but she's also 16. For some reason, there is absolutely no indication of that until you read her lore, which makes me quite uncomfortable. Because if you look at champs around her age, in art and in game, she looks a lot older than she's supposed to. Not only that, but she's also being polished to perfection. And it makes no sense considering the fact that she's supposed to look like she went through hell and back. She doesn't look like she's been trained and tortured since the age of 8. She doesn't look 16. And she definitely doesn't look like someone who can endure the amount of damage she received since childhood. I'm sure I'm not the only one who wants more diversity within the game. Ilawi is literally the only masculine body type we have in the game and she came out almost 6 years ago. Yes, she's a grown woman, and I'm not expecting a 16-year-old to have the same mass as she does, but considering the fact you have a character with a very specific backstory, I think it's fair to expect a character that is a little more robust. Same goes for dudes, by the way. Leaned and toned bodies are nice, but thighs save lives. Make kids look like kids, teens look like teens, and adults looking like adults. And fortunately enough, we have companies like Six More Vodka that prove us again and again that such characters can exist within the world of Runeterra. It only depends on whether or not Riot wants those characters to exist in it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. As always guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon and donation pages. Thanks again and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.